be really good to, uh, for players who have been playing the game now for um, the two years that it's been out uh, to really expand their knowledge of versatility in terms of gameplay. So. All right, I am looking forward to Ryu being in the game finally. And as we kick off our next game, we've got Rapuzzo versus 1-6... 161? 169? Six, 619. 619, thank That's you. That's right. Shout out to Ray Mysterio. Here we go, and Rapuzzorg. Peter looking confident. Let's see if we see a Peter pop off today. I love oh, it. He boy. always looks happy. He always looks happy. Right. Ed, he just looks mean. Like, yeah. he's going to beat someone up. I think Rashid players are mean. Rashid, you know, top tier. Hey, no man. mercy. We did it hard in season one, all right? I'll have you know. <laughs> Rashid was basically, you know, Ryu in season one. You know, like, he was non existent in the game. But here we go. We're seeing him rise and shine now in season 2.5. Whereas we can't do the characters, obviously, that was so strong in season one. Actually, winning the Capcom Cup last year with Nakudu, Nakudu's gameplay. Now, one of the weaker characters in season 2.5. But here we go. We see Ryu Poppy's like, No cares with that beautiful stamina punch into the EX shooting Peach to burn. Here we All go. Right. And Ed trying to fight his way out of the corner now with some of that trademark. Rashid play and the tornado to lock down Armika. We're going straight into the V-Trigger. Peter dodges out expert, but he's in the corner now. He's in big trouble. So many plus frames. Oh, and the excellent shimmy there. Rapopozorg leeching just a little too far, just reaching for that throw. But got shimmy for his troubles. Here we go into round two. Yeah, beautiful stuff there from Ed. You know, pretty, pretty convincing that uh, that first round only really gave Rapopozorg the first chance. But here we go, maybe this is round two looking for Rapopozorg now. And, and you'll see Ed using throw. that down hard punch a lot. It is such a good move. Only minus two, so very hard to punish. All right. And Rapopozorg trying to find his way out of the corner here now. Dropping that jump pack. He's trying to get a conversion off that standing medium punch into an EX shooting peach. Doesn't get it. Excellent cross up straight into the bump splash. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's great. It's doing it online dead. now. Okay, activates. What is going on? Is this marble? Okay. Excellent. Cross up block, but gets thrown for his troubles. Okay. Corner lockdown. And again with the shimmy, the same thing we saw last round. Shame on you if, if you fool me once, shame on me if you fool me twice. Oh, Rapopozorg, right. you gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself, my friend. Oh, that was two shimmies in a row. Two in a row. Peter's right, gotta stop hitting those throw tech buttons. Look hard in the mirror, okay? Stop reaching. Maybe Ed doesn't want to shake your hand. Maybe he just wants to shimmy you and smack you in the face. Okay. Yeah, he's thinking about it. He said, okay, thank you for that advice, Baxter. Back in the game number two. Ed up one more. Oh, wow. Excellent conversion off that crouching half punch. Okay, and we haven't seen a single command throw, interestingly, from Rapopozorg. It hasn't been the time yet. He plays this character very conservatively, a very solid ground game, as you can see. All right, that's a punish. Here nice. we go. Head in the corner now. Will we see an EX? No, we won't. Just a few reversal. Yeah, we're not seeing other Ed really contest those drop kicks either. What Rasheed can actually do is he can low profile with his crack medium kick, go under and get a pretty juicy punish with like a dead heavy punch into a you know, heavy uh, flying kick or into a roll. So, all right, and Rapopozorg is out of there. It's anybody's game at the moment. All right, beat trigger activate. Rapopozorg has to watch for the Mitch-up now. A counter throw, excellent counter throw. Gets out of there. Beats the triangle kick. Someone's been in the way. Alright, here we go. Oh, and an excellent V-Trigger activation. That punish was sick. That was very good. Do not underestimate Peter. He said, nice down heavy punch, alright. You might beat 98% of the cast with that one move, <laughs> but not today, my friend, not today. That's right. Okay, Rapopozo turning up the pressure now. Oh, just misses the anti-air, takes a lot of damage, and he's in the corner now in big trouble. Back dashes just to get out of that. See a lot. Oh, and again, it's the shimmy. That is the Ed special, and he gets a stun for his troubles. All right, so we need one more mix-up blocks there. All right, straight out of the corner. All right, let's see what the pop's all got. Mika is a comeback machine. All she needs is one knockdown into the corner, into the into the blender. Here we go. All right. No, he says you're not jumping away. Irish whip. Here we go. Neutral jump block. Ed playing very patiently. Oh, and here we go. And that started. That would be a instant turnaround from Republicor. That was sick stuff by Ladies Rapopozor. and gentlemen, give him a hand. That was that was amazing. That, that was, was really, really sick comeback. comeback. If you notice as well, when he activated the V-Trigger in the corner, uh, in the mid-screen, sorry, he expected Ed to do a V-Reversal. That's why he did the jump back. It looked really left field. Uh, really weird why he'd do that, but it was actually to counter the V-Reversal attempt from Ed, trying to catch that with the jump back into the light kick as it hits both sides. So really nice read there from Rapopozor, but didn't pay out. And in the, in the end, he got the round anyway. So really smart stuff from Rapopozor. looking focused. He's looking mean. He's here to win. Alright, here we go, the quarter pressure once again starting for Ed. So easy for Rashid to get you into the corner in this game. 
That spinning mix-in is pushing you so far, but no, Republic Dog giving him a giant swing, saying, here you go. And two come up throws in a row. Will we see a third? No, we see the cross counter. It's the Armika Classic. We cross up a good block from Ed, but unfortunately he couldn't block enough. And now it's his turn to go in the corner. Republic Dog looks like this is all over. Straight into the V trigger and a very nasty mix-up. That is so hard to see and so Shades hard of season to block. one. Because, see, like, the hardest thing is, is even when she does the V trigger, right, you you still have to think about whether she's going to command grab instantly or she's going to hit you, right? So, and left, right. So it's just like a four way mix up. Frame trap, throw, left, and right. It's so difficult to block. That is the name of the game here in Street Fighter V. Ed now turning up a pressure on Mika, says it's your turn to be in the corner, but Republic is not having any of it. He's straight out and a low mix up. Ed waking up with buttons, he's not having any of it. Okay, good conversion with the EX shooting Peach, pushing Ed down towards the corner. Ed's backing off, it looks like he's looking for an activation of the V-Trigger. Here we go! And will this be a cross-up? No, it's just a standard neutral jump. Ooh, and catches Peter pressing buttons! Oh, and unfortunately, Ed just trying to push Repu it back into it. Repuffles off reaching, he's got one chance left. Down the throat, here we go, this is Repuffles off's last chance, activates! What has he got? Ooh, makes it safe! What has he got? Ooh, Ooh. and the... EXDP. That was so risky. sick as well. I really like that trick that he did. He did the tag combo into the shooting peach. Yeah. And then he had the V trigger coming down yeah. in the beta farm. Made it safe. That was That's so right. sick. That was Marvel esque almost yeah. with the assist. And it bet the farm on that EXDP. That would have been it, but it was a good read. Those are the types of reads you have to make in Street Fighter 5. Can't make it safe with FADC like in the previous game. All right, and here we go. Ed pushing forward. And here we go with Dynasty Zero. Couple Sword. Start up his mix up game. He says, you know what, Ed? I've had enough of your machine mix ups. It's time for my turn. And here we go, she's got a full stick of butter on deck right now. Here we go, so much mix-up potential in the X fan grab. Rajin's found himself in the corner against a beautiful woman. And what does look she do? at the damage. Alright, and struggling to get something started here. Alright, good throw tech. Oh, and Republic's off so ready with that standing minion punch. He said you are not dashing forward. And that's a punish, but makes it safe with the V-Trigger. So many plus frames. Okay. Oh! We see a throw. Peter doesn't offer the throw this time. And again, the EX from Ed. He's betting the farm on so many of these, but he's bet right every single time so far. Ed's got to start reading these. Alright, and a pitch up on it, but just fails to convert. Whoa. And a crouching short from Peter. And Peter Bob. is feeling himself. And we saw the adaptation there as well for Rob Hubble's Log. See, that was the exact time where Ed, once again, he was successful the last two times when he did the shimmy in that case. This Went for the third time, and you know what? Republic's Log said, not this time. Crouching short, closes out that round. So really smart stuff from Republic's Log there, showing his adaptation. Nice, beautiful answer with the stand heavy punch right there. Really smart stuff. Oh, even a punish! This man just has every answer in the book right now. He does. Someone's been doing the Rashid matchup in the lab. Okay, lucky with that butt splash there. Again off that standing medium punch, doing so well. It's out of there. He's not having any of it, but Republic Sword says you're not getting out for free. Good throw tech. It's almost done. He has to back off. We're going to see an activation. Whoa, that mix up was cool. Not much damage though. But here we okay. go. We're starting to see. Maybe Ed, no. And Armika puts the nail in that cop and says, don't come back for you today. Republic Sword just waking up with buttons there, not taking any of the pressure from Ed. Let's see what he's got in the can. Trying to speak in the microphone. That's our job. Get back to fighting. Here we go. Republic's Lord finding himself in the corner. It looks like Ed's woken up. up. He's already taken Republic's Lord down to 50%. Goes for that same shimmy again, but Republic's Lord does not bite. And again with the EX. He's done so well with those. Oh my I god. Think he's been training with Kazunoko. Alright. Oh, the mic drop. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't go. Doesn't quite get it there. Alright. And wakes up with buttons. And really, really smart Final stuff there from Ed. Starting to mount this comeback, maybe. Trying to even it up 2-2. Two to two. A very convincing round from Ed as he got a read on Republic Sword now. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, big jump in. Cross up there. Unfortunately, Republic Sword missed the anti-air. Brave throw tech in the corner. Here we go. We're seeing Ed. Really has that corner pressure on deck right now. Missed to confirm, unfortunately for him. He really needs to win this. This is set point for Republic Sword right now. Ed using that up back in the corner. So scary from Rashid. He can do that wall jump. But here we go. We're a couple of down. Finds a hit. He's got the mix up on deck. Man grab. Throws it back to the second corner. Man grab here. No, he's going to go low. We're going to see a third. And the shimmy. He shimmies him back. I don't know if this is going to kill. We got the mic drop. Here we go. Into the combo. He's almost done. Could this be the end for Ed? The damage scaling here is huge. Straight into the reset. And Rapuzzle Sword closes it out. He's very happy with himself. A fantastic, fantastic effort from Rapuzzle Sword from both players. Yeah, I think the key to his success right there was that uh, adaptation in the corner. Like, 
If he didn't add up to the shimmy in the corner, that would have been maybe another route that he considered to Ed, just mm. in that same ongoing mix-up. And then we saw in that final round just there, Ed tried to adapt himself and tried to go for the throw in the corner, but Republic already knew exactly what he was going for. So really high-level stuff coming from both these guys right now. But um, yeah, congrats to Republic Slog advancing his way through in the winner's side. Advances of the through the next round. I can't believe how many EX DPs Ed got away with in that round. I mean, he was just throwing them out there. Peter couldn't read them, but... You know, in the end, Peter Prevail. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll be right back with the next round in the Throwdown Street Fighter V Championship Series play-ins. We'll be right back. Don't go away.